Hey guys, what is up? We are back for our first episode of a new series um, that are, we are calling Are You Serious, Bro? In which case, we are laddering up the are you um, ladder. Um, we're going to try to um, see as high as we can make it. Um, again, I'm not like the best battler in the world by any means. So, this, I mean, this is just kind of a fun series to see if we can try a bunch of different teams, see how well they do in RU. Now, I mean, I like RU. I'm not too familiar with it, like I said last, um, but I, I did really like playing it, and it is a tier that I do want to get into more. Um, so, um, leading off, this is my first RU team that I ever made. Um, so we're just going to try it out, see how well it does. I've already done a few battles um, on this, um, so I'm at like 1100, I think. Um, so um, we're just going to lead off with Team Builder, see what I'm bringing. We got Meloetta, we got Meloetta, Meloetta Pirouette this time with Life Orb, Serene Grace, uh, Relic Song, uh, so it can turn into its Pirouette form, Return, Close Combat, and Knock Off. It's got 252 attack. Um, for special attack, so that way it still kind of hits kind of hard, and we got a max speed. Um, we have Mummy Bug, our lead off as Selgor, um, with a Focus Sash, um, so it can set up at least one layer of spikes, or two layers of spikes, just depending on uh, if any, like, uh, Choice Scarf, uh, Typhlosions come, al come around. Um, we have Spikes, Final Gambit, Encore, and Bug Buzz. Um, it's got Unburden, so, I mean, it's going to double its speed if it loses that focus sash, <laughs> which is ridiculous because it has, like, base, like, it, it, it's literally, like, so fast for no reason, um, which makes it a perfect, like, suicide lead. Um, next up, we have Crossed Up, the Drapion, with Scope Lens and Sniper, and Cross Poison, which has a 50% chance to crit with Scope Lens. Um, so, we have... Uh, Swords Dance, Knock Off, and Earthquake on it as well. Max Attack, 4 Defense, and Max Speed. This is a very fast team. Again, Max Speed, Max Attack, uh, 4 HP on this Verizion with the Lumberry, so that way if it gets uh, status or confused, it can use Lumberry and just keep on trucking. It's got Sword Dance, Leaf Blade, Close Combat, and Zen Headbutt. Our Mega is Mega Binet. Shouts to my boy Professor Willow. I'm sure he'll be happy to know that I'm using this. Uh, I haven't told him yet that I was using this in the in the first RU episode. But uh, Mega Mega Binet, um, Prankster, Destiny Bond is just annoying. Um, knock off, Sucker Punch, and Willow Wisp. It doesn't have any stab, uh, but I do like Knock Off on it as opposed to Shadow Claw. And obviously Prankster, Will-O-Wisp, and Destiny Bond are good to have. It is max attack. It does have like a base 145 attack when a Mega evolves. Uh, it's got 4 special defense and 252 HP as opposed to 252 speed. Uh, because something needs to be slow on this team, right? So that's uh, Professor the uh, the Binet. Finally, we go into Floppy Arms, the Electros, which um, I didn't know had arms at first. And then when I saw its arms and just flapping back and forth... Um, it, it kind of just stuck for me because I knew it can learn Drain Punch, but I didn't know how it punched until I found its arms. But it is wearing the Assault Vest, and it is a special uh, Electros with Knock Off, just in case. Um, because Knock Off is always great to have. And Volt Switch, Giga Drain, Flamethrower, and Knock Off for coverage. And without further ado, guys, we are going to hop into our first RU battle with the RU Laddering series. Are you serious, bro? As you can tell. I got the, uh, uh, as you're going to be able to tell in a second, I think it's because it's cut off the screen um, with the new computer, I was able to get Are You Serious Bro as a name. There we go. And I was having so many problems with this thing, trying to um, get it to record and record well without any encoding issues. So we're going to see how this one comes out. Hopefully it doesn't come out too bad, uh, but we're going to lead off with Mummy Bug RSL Gore here. And we're going to set off the... Oop, no, we're not. And he's going to lead with his Hitmonlee and probably fake me out. And just get rid of my uh, my Focus Ash right off the bat. And Spikes. Yep, he is just going to knock me off and knock off my Focus Ash. Which is great. Because... Bug Buzz is resisted by fighting. I'm just going to set up another layer of Spikes. And he knock punches me. 
time, more life or damage down the drain. So with this, we are going to. You are, you are life orb, so you're not unburdened. Do you outspeed me? No, you don't. I guess I can just set up a relic song because he doesn't know what set I am yet. So that I'm bringing it out like this, he probably assumes that I'm uh, the psychic type, and hopefully he really does think that and switches out into literally anything except for that Fletchinder. Because that would be nice. Steelix, Steelix is perfect. Relic Song, it's resisted, and he fell asleep, which is excellent. And this thing's probably his Mega. He's probably going to switch out. I'm going to sit here and return. He is going to Mega. And return is nothing. He's still asleep. In close combat. And I do take it out, which was what I was worried about. I didn't want to take it out. Um, because I don't want this Fletchinder to come in and get a free hit off on me. So I may have to switch out into Electros probably, more than likely. If he does either send in his Flygon or his... Or his Fletchinder there. Yep, there's the Fletchinder. I'm going to send in Electros. And you can Acrobatics me. That was a really good play on my part. Uh, he's going to send in his Flygon because why wouldn't he? Or he's gonna send in his... Oh, he's gonna will this me. That's interesting. That's interesting. And a bolt switch. Probably only seen physical electrosses. And now he sends in his fly gun. Oh, okay. I see you. I see you, big dog. I'm gonna knock off again. If he sends out his uh, Rizzy in there, that's fine. I still have stuff to deal with it. I am Assault Vest, and this thing's Life Orb. And I go, I'm gonna go down to Burn. That's fine. This Flygon is heavily, heavily uh, crippled at this point. I'm gonna fire off his end headbutt. It can U-turn, but I'm just going to fire off his end headbutt. If it flinches, that's fine. It is going to send in Fletchinder again, and oh my gosh, this thing's bulky for no reason. Why are you so bulky? Now, this thing can either Acrobatics me or uh, Flare Blitz me. Probably Acrobatics, or it can Roost, and that's fine too. Hmm, what do I actually want to do? Swords Dance. Hmm, Willow with me and Miss. Um, I kind of wish I was Lumberry on this thing. Um, but I can Cross Poison and take out this Fletchinder, which is a big threat gone, especially for my Meloetta. I do want that Hitmonlee gone, so that way Meloetta just kind of sweeps this team. However, I don't think that's going to happen, because he's probably going to save his Hitmonlee for last. And no, never mind. This thing is faster than me. Uh, no, unless it mock plunges. I'm just gonna earthquake and take out the hit monkey. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, now uh, Meloet has a chance to sweep. Um, it is faster than me, but I can just close. I can uh, cross poison and take out the. Verizian. This thing, Flygon. Flygon, is it faster than me? It can be faster than me. It's knockoff lose. Uh, and it, uh, its orb was knocked off, and it does have Earth Power, which is fine. Uh, I don't mind it too much. This thing has Draco Meteor. And, but it's not faster than me. So I'm going to Swords Dance up. It has Fire Blast. Ooh, that's interesting. And Leaf Blade. Maybe pray for a crit. But at the end of the day, that uh, that Samurai in the back doesn't scare me too bad. And I do take out the Flygon. 
and he does send out his Samura, even if he's like Choice Scarfed or something, the only thing he can really hit me with is Aqua Jet, and the Samura goes down, and that is GG for that game, and we're going to do one more game, just because we had, it's kind of an introductory uh, episode, so I do want to just kind of introduce this series, um, and the team I'll be using for, for a couple episodes before we move on to to another team, or to another series, or maybe even just continue on the series with our, uh, continuing our trek down the, down the, uh, line of tiers, and we do still have NU and PU to hit, however I do need some, uh, team building help with those, for obvious reasons, um, this is a very fast team too, he's got Haunter, and Quillfish to set up Toxic Spikes, and this guy says good luck and have fun, and I'm going to just fire up the U2, and I'm going to leave the mummy bug. And the only thing that outspeeds me is not Steelix. I kind of know what, I kind of want to know what this thing wants to do, and I kind of want to set up spikes. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up spikes, because I am focused Ash, so there's no real reason for me to stay in. This thing does have a lot of HP, um, so finally campaigning it is kind of pointless, especially with that Haunter in the back too. And I'm just going to set up Spikes and he's going to heavy slam me, crit sash. I'm going to get off in another layer of Spikes. Which is fine by me. You know, two layers of Spikes is completely fine, unless he's sending out a Zat too, in which case we're kind of... I mean, we, we have one layer of spikes on us, one layer of spikes on him. If he predicts that, that's fine. You know, it, it, it is what it is. There's no real reason for me to save this Acel Gore. And if so, I can just... Well, if he does decide to send out a Zatu, I can just fire off a Bug Buzz. And... Um, yeah, at least do some damage to it. Before it takes me out. And I, I feel like this guy's a good player, he's going to withdraw, and he's going to send a Haunter. And this thing is either choice or in some manner, but I can just run off another layer of spikes and all three. And Sludge Bomb does take me out. This thing is Light Orb. Okay. 317. Let me send out Professor, because I do have Sucker Punch on this. I am not faster than this Haunter, but a Sucker Punch will take it out, his Haunter is very frail, without its EV light, um, it is very frail defensively. And Sucker Punch does take the Haunter out. Now I know I can't sweep with this thing. But I do have the Drapion for in case um, toxic spikes happen to that um, with that Quillfish, and so I mean I do need to say that he does send out a Steelix. I am this heavy slam is gonna hurt. I'm gonna send out floppy arms. He's gonna set up rocks. Okay. I can play throw. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I made this team when I was like in a phase where I was like, I want everything to hit. So that's why I have flamethrower, not fire blast on this Electros. If he switches out into uh if he switches out into the Rapidash, that is fine, you know. Um, but it does do a lot of damage and this thing is resisted, so I'm just going to stay here and flamethrower again. There's really no reason for me not to, and I do take out the Steelix. Now, what does this thing want to send out next? What, is, what does he want to send out next? He does have rocks on me. If he sends out his Jolteon, that's fine. 
Uh, I can just knock it off and flamethrower. I do have stuff that um, can deal with it. He does send out his Rapidash though. And I can just knock this off. Because it is probably Choice Band. <laughs> and he's going to Flare Blitz me and take me out and do a lot of damage to itself. And it's not like I can... I just want to see if it's... I can't will wisp it, but I can Sucker Punch it. And I do want that to happen because this Rapidash will fall to a Sucker Punch because Bennett's attack is ridiculously high. And it fails, and it's going to Morning Sun up. Not good. Destiny Bond. And he stays in, and he Flare Blitz, and he takes me down to 6. Now, does he Morning Sun back up, or does he let this thing fall? He, he does send out Quillfish, and he does Intimidate me, and I do knock off, and I do knock off the Black Sludge. And now I need to keep Professor in, <laughs> and he can just sit here and set up whatever he wants. I'm just going to Will-O-Wisp, and he's going to Thunder Wave me. <laughs> I'm Sucker Punch if he wants to set anything up, and I'm paralyzed. And he waterfalls me and takes me out. That's unfortunate. Oh well. I do have speed this thing. And he is burned. He can paralyze me, as he just showed. And I'm gonna knock it off and take it out. Now, this rabbit ash becomes more of a problem because I don't have my destiny bonding willow. Or professor as I named it, not Willow. But this Rapidash does become a problem. Although I do outspeed that Zatu. He does send out the Zatu. Okay. Now here's the thing. Do I outspeed you? I may outspeed you. If you are max speed, then I don't outspeed you. I'm gonna knock you off. and it does a decent amount, and it's going to calm mind up. Probably was thinking the same thing, he's going to speed die. Uh, I'm going to cross poison and take out the Zatu. Now I do have Earthquake for these last two Pokemon, it's just a matter of this Rapidash. <laughs> if it is banded or scarfed. I feel like if it was banded, it would have taken me out, so I feel like it's scarfed. So, um, if it if it is um, scarfed, I don't think I will go down as a Drapion. Because I can look at um, Professor's defenses and compare them to Drapion's, and I don't think it'll go down barring a crit. And if Drapion doesn't go down, I think I win. But if Drapion does go down, then things get a heck of a lot harder. Especially since I forget what how much health that Rapidash has. I don't think it'll tell me. Oh, he's got 61%. And that drill Tion at full health. I do have Earthquake, like I said, for these last two, um, but I didn't get a Sword Stance up, stupidly, on that Calm Mind, which I probably should have, because I don't really know what Zatu had to hit me with, but I was scared of a Thunder Wave, 
So I just wanted to take it out as fast as possible. And it does look like he's either taking, there we go, I was going to say, he is taking either a lot of time to think, or he is, I'm going to earthquake, you know, Thunderbolt me take me down to five, and I'm going to earthquake him and take him out. Now. Here he takes 24. He needs to Morning Sun up on my Verizian, or he loses because I think the recoil takes him down if he is scarfed. So he needs to morning sun up here. Yep, and that's GG. He is not scarfed. He is banded. He does burn me with the flame body. But that is GG, and that is going to be the end of our episode. Um, so for the first episode, guys, we, um, we win our first two battles, and we finish at 1150, which is a pretty good rating. Um, he, the guy that we just beat, was in the 1250s, and that was a very good battle. I, I did like that battle a lot. Um, kind of showed off what this team can do, and uh, almost Destiny Von Bennett, but oh well. Um, so until next time, guys, um, I'm going to leave you with this. Are you serious, bro?